stocks. They're a medieval torture device, way of locking people up, holding them where they are. I'm going to make some with only a chop saw, a jigsaw and a screwdriver. I've got all this reclaimed wood that, well, we've got nothing else to use for, that, so that's what I'm going to use. So this is the finished base. It's two bits of 2x6, these two, and a bit of 2x4 in the middle, holding them apart. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to get two more bits of 2x4 like this, stick them in the ends there, and then get two more bits of 2x6 with, to cut half circles in them so that your head and your hands can go in. And then, so they're going to sit on top of these, so you can be locked in it, like that. Well, I've got, I've added this upright here, um, which is one of the, well, the upright on this side, which will hold the piece with the, with your head and your hands in. I've added these uprights here, these diagonal pieces, to make it a lot stronger so it doesn't wobble around. Also added this little piece here, um, which does the same job, really. Um, and but at the other side now, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I've got these pieces, so it's just 45 on each side, and they just fit in like that. So I've added this up right here. I didn't have two pieces this height, which is what I wanted, so I had to add this extra bit of this block here, which I, well, it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, it's all. Sort of symmetrical now. Next I'm going to add this piece. I'm going to chop sort of half circles in here, one for your neck, one for your, one for each hand. And I'm going to screw it onto the sides there, in in the middle, sort of thing. Um, so that then that's the base plate you put your head and hands into. And then the top piece, same same sort of piece of wood, same size piece of wood. It's going to go on top like this. It's also going to have the the half circles clasped into it. So that's going to slide in place and be removable. So you can actually get your head and hands in here. And then it can sl slid down and you lock it like this. So this is the finished pieces that, that you put your head and your hands in. These are the holes. I've um, made them slightly bigger than your head and your hands so you can actually breathe around your neck and everything. Um, I've put that in both of them. This is the top piece. And this is my sort of experiment for the locking mechanism. Well, sort of locking. Um, and it's basically two bits of 2x4 here. I'll slide on either side. Slide down on either side of this piece here. Um, which means it can't wobble from side to side that way. Or that way. So these are the finished stocks. As you can see, they work pretty well. I can't get it out of them at all. Um, look for the video of us testing them on my channel in the next few days. This is basically what we're going to be doing.